Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Vocational Education and Training, Soviet, Diploma. Diploma in Business Process Outsourcing Finance and Accounting, Dbapofa, Revised. Semester 2. BPI 006 English Communication. Block 1 Social Skills in Business Communication. Unit 1 Greetings and Introduction. Productions. Production and Introduction. 1.0 Objectives. In this unit you will. Times learn about formal and informal greetings. Times attempt activities based on greetings in other cultures. Times practice formulaic language used in introductions and greetings. Times read about introduction etiquette in India. Times introduce yourself as well as others. Times present a brief profile of yourself. Times use contractions in spoken language. Times analyze the N tilde answers of English pronunciation with regard to sound and spelling. 1.1 Warm Up Activity 1. How do you introduce yourself to a new colleague at work? 2. How do you greet your colleagues when you meet them? Times at home. Times at a party. Times at a get-together. Times in a formal meeting. 2. Warm-up activity. Find someone who. This activity will help you to get introduced to other members of your study. Group. Your trainer will ask you to pick up ships of paper from a pool. Move around in the group and find someone does or likes what's written on the slip. 1.2 Language Focus Activity 2 1. Now look at these greetings and state whether they are formal, semi-formal or informal. Check your responses with the answer key. 1. Hi. 2. How do you do? 3. How are you doing? 4. What's up? 5. Hello. 6. How are you? 7. Good morning, afternoon, evening. 8. Good to see you. 9. How's it going? 10. How are things? Introducing yourself, I'm Anjana Ayer. My name's Anjana Ayer. Do not say, myself Anjana Ayer. There are a number of phrases that are commonly used to introduce strangers. For example, I don't think you have met Radhika. Can you think of at least two other ways in which you can introduce someone to the others? Check the key for more alternatives. Here are some typical corporate situations where you need to greet people. Match the situation to the appropriate dialog box. Now practice the conversation with your partner. Situations A receiving a foreign customer at the airport. B. Running into someone you know at a conference. C. After being introduced to someone at a business event e.g. Trade fair. D. Meeting someone in a restaurant for a business lunch to which you have been invited. E. Receiving an important visitor in your cabin. Dialogue boxes. 1. You. How are you? I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. B. Fine thanks. I just arrived a couple of minutes ago. You, nice place. Have you ordered anything yet? 2. A. Hello. You, oh hi. Imagine running into you like this. A. Yes, it's so good to see you after such a long time. How have you been? You, great. How about you? 3. You, how do you do, Mr. Schwarzer? Schwarzer. How do you do? You, did you have a comfortable flight? Schwarzer, not too bad, thank you. For you, good morning Mr. Ayer. I have been waiting to see you. Ayer, it's good to see you too. You, how are you? Ayer, I'm fine thank you. Five you, it's a pleasure to meet you Mr. Chabra. How do you do? Chabra? Fine, thank you. I'm pleased to meet you too. 5. When you meet someone the first time in a formal situation, it is common to greet the person with, 
how do you do the correct response to this is also how do you do however the stress pattern is different in both cases the stress is marked for you in the given box a how do you do b how do you do alternatively the response can be a how do you do b fine thank you how do you do if you find how do you do too formal you may choose to greet someone straight away with pleased to meet you in this case the response would be pleased to meet you too the stress pattern will be as follows times a pleased to meet you mr raghavan b i am pleased to meet you too or b pleased to meet you too here is a short introductory conversation victor sunil i'd like you to meet radhika sunil how do you do radhika how do you do victor radhika works for a variation is also it's a pleasure to meet you or pleased to meet you or i'm glad to meet you victor sunil i'd like you to meet radhika sunil it's a pleasure to meet you radhika how do you do victor radhika works for victor sunil i'd like you to meet radhika sunil how do you do radhika pleased to meet you victor radhika works for never ask anyone what is your good name instead you may say may know your name please or i don't think we have met i'm radhika how about you it is common to greet people formally according to the time of the day good morning is used until noon after which one uses good afternoon until 4 pm any time after 4 pm is good evening even if the time is not evening but night good night is used at leave taking after the evening six greetings are generally underscore followed by introductions where you either introduce yourself or the person as accompanying you choice of appropriate language is important in these situations in social situations a man is traditionally introduced to a woman however in the business world introductions are based on a person's rank or position in an organization the person with highest ranking position is introduced first and the others follow in order of their position if you introduce two people of equal rank to each other introduce the one you know less well to the one you know better look at these dialogues and mark the words used to describe what you or someone else does language may vary according to the degree of formality required in a situation note the differences in the two given dialogues one you i'd like to introduce you to our managing director mr sandeep mehta ms nigam how do you do mr mehta mr mehta fine thank you pleased to meet you ms nigam i am pleased to meet you too you miss nigam is in sales she looks after our clients from the south to you benoy this is sunita she is part of our sales team benoy hi glad to meet you i am assistant to the finance manager a few helpful tips one americans shake hands when first introduced to new people rarely do they shake hands while parting in india it is customary to shake hands as part of leave taking to when someone pays you a compliment it should be accepted graciously with a thank you rather than deny it a westerner would accept the compliment whereas an indian may deny it three titles are highly valued in some cultures including india advanced degrees are listed on business cards and mentioned in instructions this must be kept in mind during introductions four greetings and leave taking generally follow a hierarchical order in india 
5. Indians generally do not use first names in business, even in conversations. This is not the case in the US and England. However, most European countries prefer the formal surname and some, for example Germans, are particular about the use of the business title during greetings and introductions. 6. In India, Sir is frequently used to address someone in authority. It is not so in the US. 1.3 Reading Comprehension Read the text below and then answer the questions that follow. Indian social etiquette is a strange mix of Western and Indian culture. This is largely because of British influence during the colonial period which continued in post-colonial India. Hence India is very much influenced by the British style of etiquette which is rather formal and somewhat conservative. On the other hand, India is a multicultural society where religion, region, caste, language, tradition and custom play a large role in the kind of social etiquette prevalent in different parts of the country. These have an impact on the nature of greetings and introductions as well as the degree of formality used in social and business situations. In addition to this is the impact of globalization, which is largely felt in the metropolitan cities, with changes in lifestyles as well as business. Environment, a synthesized form of social behavior and etiquette has emerged which is more in keeping with international practices. Having said this, it must be admitted that the influence of native culture continues to have its impact, even in these environs. Hence, though a great deal of commonality can be seen in the social etiquette of Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, Bangalore and Chennai, one may also observe many differences in the way people address and greet each other. One may easily conclude that there is no one correct way of introducing and greeting to communicate effectively and strike the right note at the very beginning. It is advisable to study the social etiquette of different regions so that you may be able to make a good impression from the word go. 1st March 2001 Greeting People Read the following passage. Hello. Hi. Namaste. Aslam Aelkam. Bonjour. Every day we greet people. We greet our family members when we wake up. In the morning, we greet our friends and teachers at school. We greet people at work. We greet people from whom we buy our bus or train ticket, a cup of coffee or newspaper. If it is a friend's or a loved one's birthday we greet them in a special way. If it's a special day, a festival or celebration, we wish our loved ones in a special way too. Greetings are a vital part of any language. While learning a second language, one of the first things we learn is how to greet people. Think about greeting different people on different occasions. How do you normally greet people? Does the form of greeting change in different situations? Is the greeting different when it is a stranger or someone of a different gender or an older person? Does the form of the greeting vary from one part of the country to another? Greetings acknowledge the existence of another human being. Greeting a Person means taking the time to relate to a person in a personal way. Greetings may be conveyed through words, spoken or written and through gestures. While a quick, hello, or hi, conveys a casual spoken greeting. Shaking hands, embracing or hugging a person, kissing people on the cheeks, or joining one's hand in a simple, namaste, are some of the gestures people across the world employ to greet people from different cultures. While, the shaking of hands in USA is a fairly formal way to greet people. You meet for the first time, in India, 
you will find that men do not shake hands elder persons is a more favored form of greeting especially in rural india wherever you are in the arab world greetings and taking leave are an important part of any arabic conversation they tend to be more elaborate than in the west even when addressing a stranger it is customary to greet him la her and take your leave using standard polite expressions it is normal when meeting someone socially for the first time and when meeting anyone you already know even if you just bump into them in the street to follow the initial expression of greeting by inquiring after their health 1.5 grammar contractions contractions are words that have been shortened this is done by missing out letters an apostrophe replaces the missing letters for example doesn't for does not will for we will it's for it is they re for they are contractions are generally used in speech and informal writing they are also frequently used in emails 1.7 samples of greeting starting a conversation involves making people feel relaxed and comfortable you may have to start a conversation while welcoming visitors and when you don't know others at a meeting party or social gathering you may have to start a conversation starting a conversation involves three steps a greeting b introducing yourself c asking after the other person's well-being the formulas for these are fixed and usually carry no literal meaning we say good morning even if it is not a good morning and they answer for how are you is fine thanks even if you are not well no one expect your close friends really want to know about your troubles these are routine courtesies that are followed the expression you use will vary according to your relationship activity 4 read the short pieces below and decide on the following for each dialogue e 1 i where is the conversation taking place 2 what is their relationship strangers friends family acquaintances colleagues neighbors 3 underline the words expressions that tell you about their relationship one dikshit what a pleasure to see you mr sharma how are you keeping sharma not bad how are you doing mr dikshit to nitu good morning welcome to ferguson college ma'am the seminar is in room number 16 down this corridor 3 kk mr peter walsh how do you do i am krishna kumar personnel officer welcome to bail pw thank you mr kumar how do you do four verses good morning sir ar good morning vikram i didn't see you in class yesterday r you keeping well verses yes sir thank you very much 5 ag hi i'm amrita gill we have just moved into this locality rk hi i'm rk and this is anu anu's in the 9th at springadales and i'm in the 12th at father agnel what about you six students good morning ma'am teacher good morning it's well past 120 clock students good afternoon ma'am teacher good afternoon sit down please seven visitor good evening i have an appointment with david lee reception good evening could you sit down for a moment i'll find out whether mr lee is in visitor of course i'm a j make from ltc 1.8 pronunciation relationship between sound and spelling c 
It is a well-known fact that English spelling does not always indicate how an English word should be pronounced. There is, in other words, no one-to-one -one correspondence between the letters of the Roman alphabet and the sounds of English. While English has 44 sounds, the alphabet has only 26 letters. So the alphabet is overburdened. And worse still, even in the face of a scarcity of letters, many of them are sometimes squandered in representing the same sound. These two factors together result in a good deal of confusion, as is illustrated below. One listen to the following words in which the same letter stands for many different sounds. Repeat each word. Tilda H. Machine, Monarch, Chief. A late, last, fat, woman, village, water, what. Odd though, through, bow, thought, thorough, cough. Do now listen to some words in which the same sound is represented by different letters or combinations of letters. One then sound is represented by the letter or letters. N as in neck. NN as in funny. GN as in sign. KN as in no. PN as pneumonia. To the vowel sound in the word get is represented by the letter or letters. EA as in head. EI as in leisure. EO as in leopard. A as in many. I as M said. I E as in friend. U as in bury. U E as in guess. 3. The vowel sound in the word T is represented by the letter or letters. E A as in. I E as in brief. E O as in people. E as in seen. E E as in seen. E Y as in key. I as in machine. O E as in fetus. E I as in receive. U A E as in key. Activity 5. Practice these greetings and introductions. 1a. How are you? b. Very well thank you. And you? 2a. Pleased to meet you. b. Pleased to meet you. 2. 3a. How do you do? b. How do you do? 4a. Please call me Anju. b. Then you must call me Rahul. 5a. How's life? b. Not too bad, but rather busy. 1.9 Summary In this unit you practiced how to introduce yourselves and others in formal and informal situations. You also learned to greet with the right intonation and tone. You learned some words pertaining to personal, social or professional qualities. In the grammar section, you revised contractions. In the pronunciation section, you became aware that spelling in English does not indicate the sounds of the language. Thank you, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.